You're a foreign military, you serve a foreign crown on my soil. No, no, you. <coughs> it's on camera. That's good. I know what I'm fucking talking Oh, sorry. I don't mean to swear, but, but I know what I'm talking about here. You serve a foreign crown. Yeah. yeah. It's the St. Edward's crown, it's Catholic. You serve the Pope. Mm. Rome. We are not you. That's good. Okay, as long as you understand that. Under the Geneva Convention, we have protections. I, I suggest you go and learn those, because following orders does not protect you from any war crimes. The Nervo so. trial will tell you that. Yeah. 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 Nuremberg excuse doesn't work. This is, this, this is our church meeting, right? Under the Geneva Convention, and um, there, there's also human rights that don't really apply to us, but even if we were human, which we're not, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying you're not human? No, we're mankind. We're, we're, we're mankind. We're not, we're not, we're not... Um, do you diminished. identify as a human being? No. no. Wow, okay. A human. Do you, do you know, do you know what a human no, means? Hang, hang on, one, one at a time. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a warning. If you don't leave this area we, now, we, there's a law be issued with fines. Um, okay? A oh, fine I'm is sorry, fine. We are not under your jurisdiction. That's well, what a fine means. Me. You, are, you are failing. No, we're not. That's You're, you are a I just I'm giving you a warning. If you don't uh, leave this area now, you will be given a fine. Okay? Well, then, then you give me a fine, and then you're committing a war crime. That's right. You're forcing That's okay. personage. You're also forcing slavery. Slavery is against the law. It's an, it's an international crime. That's your opinion. It's, it's not, not an, an opinion. opinion it's mate. a fact, mate. Go and have a look on the web. Paperwork you have to leave this I, area. I don't, I don't have to obey you. Are there any you. signs? My right. God, I'm my you. God, this, no is, this is a I memorial to my God. It tells me and what I'm that telling that you I don't that have to listen are, to you. To you ignore you is what my God tells so me to do. I don't care what God says. I battle all the minds. Well, I suggest you go and get your hand off. Because what you're doing right now... I don't see much of a meeting going on. It's not a false pretext, mate. You've engaged us, mate. I'm just we were here peacefully. I know, I know exactly well, why you're here. I was told. Who's the chair in the meeting? Be here. There's no chair. So, a I'm chair is an inanimate object. I'm not trying to be combative. I'm peaceful. But I'm standing up for my rights. There was no conflict. As a, as a, as a, as exactly, mate. Exactly. That's right. No, mate, it was a question you said yourself. It was a false assumption. No, it was That's a right. You asked, are you here for the protest? And I said, what protest? Yeah, there's no protest. That was a false assumption. No, I disagree with you there. Oh, well, it was a question. No, but anyway, yourself. look, you're, you're Are you here for the K? Okay? You're yeah, assuming that something, there was something to happen. We're not breaching the peace, so you can leave. Otherwise, you're committing a war crime for um, interfering with our... With our you can stay right. in your meeting and don't worry about us. With our church okay? meeting. We, we won't. We do what we want to do. Well, yeah, we're no okay. we're not, we're not free. But if you are breaching yeah, excuse me, the public health excuse that guidelines which have been implemented by the New South Wales... New South Wales... Okay. New South Wales... Don't engage it. Participate in your meeting. G'day. I'll stop the video there for a moment. I just want to point a few things out. Now, you would have seen that I pointed out who they were. They are a foreign military. They serve a foreign crown. And that crown is the St. Edward's crown, which is Catholic. So they serve Rome and the Pope, not you, the people. Um, now, because they are a foreign military in your country, it means that you are militarily occupied. Now... I also pointed out that we were there for a gathering and that we are not them, or in, I specifically said, we are not you, pointing at the police, meaning that we are not Australian citizens um, in allegiance with them, and especially to their Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, who represents that St Edward's crown that's foreign to your Commonwealth. Um, and we're not in their world or their jurisdiction, as I've pointed out several times. And it's because we're not Australian citizens. Um, we are Commonwealth or Imperial subjects under an Imperial crown. And because we are militarily occupied, we are protected 
under international law, as I pointed out, under various treaties like the Geneva Conventions. Um, and I had to point out that just because they are following orders doesn't mean they are not committing war crimes and um, they certainly can be held accountable under international law. And, yeah, just out of interest, you would have heard that um, we mentioned that we don't identify as human beings. And that's because a human is the hue of man, a monster, uh, not having the shape of mankind. And this is all by legal definition. Uh, Black's Law and even um, even the other one, I can't remember, Bou Bouvier's or whatever it's called. Um, <clears throat> and then we were issued a warning, which I didn't acknowledge. In fact, I stated that we weren't under their jurisdiction. Um, then the second time uh, we were warned and threatened, or threatened really, and I called his bluff and told him to give me a fine, and uh, but he would be committing a war crime, um, forcing or creating personage and slavery. And um, when I mentioned that the slavery was an international crime uh, under international law, um, he, he suggested that it was just my opinion, that slavery was against the law. I mean, really? Uh, and then again, we were told not to listen, uh, not to leave, uh, that we had to leave. And yeah, again, I didn't obey him. Uh, in fact, I stated that I don't have to obey him. And I made a point of mentioning that um, we were there to honour the gods of our fathers being the Anzac. And that some of the little shrines in the, um, in the memorial park there were actually dedicated to our god, the Anzac, or the father of the trinity of our god. And uh, that god tells me to ignore their legislation. Uh, and I also, of course, I had to state that I was not there as a combatant and that I was peaceful and that I was standing up for my rights as a subject of the Kingdom of Australia, which is, was sealed in law in 1919 at Versailles. Uh, then we were warned that we were breaching New South Wales gu guidelines, um, to which I was in the middle of letting him know exactly what New South Wales was, which was a corporation. Um, under a foreign authority to the Kingdom of Australia, uh, which is where I was actually cut off and we were told to go and have our meeting. So you saw round one was to us. So now I'll get back to the video. That's right. Watermark. That one over there is a good one. You will not see that crown on it anywhere. That is the Catholic crown. That is a Catholic crown. St. Edward's, that's it. Country. Have a look we at your foot. Your AIF badge. Military, Imperial which crown. Is that's it. You are a foreign military. The fact that you are engaging us while you no, are no. armed. No, no, I'll just point out, you engaged us. No, no, no. No, 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 no. you approached us. A, Join the tactics don't work. Join the tactics don't you, work. You've you driven of off a, people a by intimidation. Party? It's not law. Okay. You don't have to do or say anything if you don't want to. Oh, anything you say or do is being recorded and that can be used as evidence. Vice court. versa. Do you understand that? No, I don't understand you. We don't stand under you. No terms of joinder. That's no right. You know, pushing your credit to bring the group is using all his energy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you, are you part of a religious group? Because you've said a number of times you're holding a church meeting. I don't follow a religious group. Okay, so what is your reason for being in the park tonight? Mawson Park, Campbelltown. Right. We were here. We were here hey, to commune. I'm not talking to you, sir. Oh, I will look. come and talk to you if you want me to. We are angry with Christians. So you're here. Sorry, what are you here for again? Part of a church meeting. Right. Okay. And um, has, has that church meeting commenced? 
You're impeding us, mate. You're impeding it. Right. Let's restand there is God. So do you agree that you said that you are here as part of the agree I I don't agree to anything you say. Okay. I don't understand you, mate. Well, well, I don't, I don't understand a understand moment ago, you. you said you're here as part of a church meeting. Do you recall saying that? I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. A church, a church can also be of faith. Okay, so that's a church you know, of faith. You know is that right? You know a church is not a building. The King James no, Bible states that a church is not a building. The church is the people. No worries. Can I get some ID off you, please? No, I don't have any. Because at the moment, you, you are breaking a law. No, I'm not. Yeah. Statutes. You are breaching the health rules that are in place. Australian legislation. What? Australian legislation. It's been enforced. It's enforceable. Australian legislation does not apply to the Commonwealth. No worries. We'll leave it at that for the moment, unless you want to tell me something else. Mate, you're blinding me. Is that a? Is that a some kind of a intimidation tactic? Official warning. Mate, take your torch off me. Take your torch off me. Because you are not a religious leader. You are not a priest and you are not holding a religious... Your ha. He, he's, he's got his torch on me. He's in, trying to intimidate me. He's trying to intimidate me. No, 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 mate. My hands, I'm recording and I'm smoking. I'm happy for you to record. Just making sure that I can see what you're doing at all times. congregation. A congregation of people. certainly was a congregation of people. Sorry? He certainly was a congregation of people that is... First, there's three of you left here at the moment. Well, well, now that, now that, um, so, um, I'm just going to come up and speak to you, sir. Go ahead. How are you? Very well. My name Yourself. is Senior Constable um, Richardson from um, Campbelltown Police. You yes. Are you, you don't have to no. do or say anything no, if you, you don't, don't have want to. to. Do you understand them. that? Yeah. I'm no, you not creating joins with you, away. sir. Walk away. Yep. Walk away. We're you leaving. You don't have to do or say anything if you don't want to. I don't, and I'm not. Likewise, likewise, likewise. Yeah, I don't understand. I overstand. I'm sorry? He said likewise. He said likewise. I understand. He can speak for himself, isn't it? No, I said I'm recording. Yep. I have no issues with you recording. Right. None whatsoever. Okay. I have an issue with him flashing that in my face. As I said, we're talking to you at night time in the dark park. Well, point out to see you. Have the, uh, you, have you guys are armed. To see what you're doing. To you. I'm recording and I'm smoking, mate. Um, What's your name? You are? You don't have a name. I don't have a name. Why is he telling you what to say and do? He's not. He's giving me advice. That's it. Are you a legal lateral? No, no, I'm not talking is to he you. Is he your guardian or anything like Let's that? Let's go. Let's go. Same, mate. So, are Stay you mate. a religious leader, mate? Yeah. Are you a priest? I'm a religious priest. Leader? Hey, let's go. All right? Just keep okay. on. Thank All you, right? sir. Good night. So, that was round two. Um... Now, we'd actually had our meeting and they started walking up towards us and uh, some of the people got a little, or most of the people got a little bit worried and left and um, they just left three of us there. But um, the police were hovering around, not that far away and um, being quite annoying. I mean, they were intim trying to be intimidating, but they were more annoying. So I just turned around to address them and I basically told them to leave us alone. Um, but we were told that we could continue on with our meeting, but you know, most of the people had already left. So I started informing them of who they were, who they worked for, being the St. Edward's Crown, um, which is military occupying our Kingdom of Australia and Commonwealth of Australia, and the fact that they were engaging 
us as peaceful civilians and because they were armed, you know, well, it, it's a serious crime. Uh, then he tried telling me my rights or started reading me my rights, um, which I didn't understand. And for me not to understand that actually means that I do not stand under his authority because that's what they mean when they say, do you understand me? They say, are you standing under my authority? Um, so, of course, I have to say no. And then eventually he tried getting a joinder by asking me a question. Um, and if I had have agreed with him, then he would have had that joinder. And I, I probably would have been arrested very quickly or given a fine. But I know that they do want to arrest me because they want to teach me a lesson. But, um, well, they're going to have to get out of bed really early to, to get me. But well, I know exactly who I am. I know exactly who they are. And they won't get that joinder on me unless it's forced. And then there'll be something to say about that. Uh, anyway, and then, then he asked me to identify myself. Um, as a citizen with government documents, but no, I wasn't having any of that. That would have been a joinder for sure. And uh, most people would have been arrested there and then for not providing identification uh, and taken to the police station and, and yeah, they would have identified the person. But, um, well, I'm not the person. And then he said I was breaking the law, which clearly I wasn't because their legislation is not law in this country. Uh, and then... Then he said that I was breaking the rules. So it went, it was downgraded from law to rules. Um, but not long after that, they lost interest and realised they weren't going to get any joinder. So they turned to their attention to the youngest one there. Um, and after a short chat with him, um, well, we thought we'd get out of there just to, well, I'd set out what I wanted to do. And that was to show everybody exactly how much authority these people do not have over the people over the people of the Commonwealth. And um, look, even if we weren't militarily occupied, no crown can mess with subjects of, of a different crown without authority. Uh, and you know, they don't have that authority. <clears throat> um, now this would be a crime of the highest degree actually, and under royal law, um, and, you know, a lot of people can get in some serious trouble if they break royal law. And the only way they can do it, any of these things is by, lawfully is by your consent. Um, but if you take that consent away by not being a citizen anymore, then they can't mess with you. But the fact that we are under military occupation means that there are even stricter rules in play and you know, international laws, um, treaties, and uh, they, they would pay a very heavy price for breaking those treaties if they did. But look, the bottom line here is that your allegiance protects you if you're not in allegiance with them, like I've shown. Um, but you do need to know the foundations and the lineage um, to your God pertaining to your kingdom of Australia as a subject of. Now, look, this is really just as hard as it gets, just some knowledge. <clears throat> you don't have to jump through hoops. You, know, you don't have to fill out a whole lot of paperwork. You don't have to do any of that. You've just got to learn your lineage to, your, to the foundations of your kingdom and God. And uh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I showed you just now that you don't need a large crowd of people to protect you. You only need one man that knows what he's talking about. And um, yeah, if you, know you, if you know the lineage to your foundations and God, you are protected in more ways than one. But look, I hope you can all see now that it's really not that hard to be loyal to your kingdom and foundations. And um, yeah, if you know them, you just got to learn them. And then the rest of us people will have your backs. 
We will bat for you. We'll defend you. We'll protect you. Um, because at the end of the day, that's what the Commonwealth of Australia was built on. And that's what made the Anzac so successful, knowing that they had each other's backs and you know, they were going to protect each other and look after each other. And yeah, that's what we've got to do again. Um, but anyway, look, I hope you got something out of that video. If, if you didn't, uh, I suggest you watch it again because um, I, I've shown you something very, very significant in that video. Very significant. And you shouldn't ignore it. Anyway, have a great night, everybody. And um, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back again soon, I guess.